Hi, this talk introduces the Flomo collector for network observability and how this open source infrastructure can help create robust, low overhead eBPF observability collectors. We'll discuss why network observability is valuable, then go over two challenges in building the collector and how the collector tackles them, and then do a brief demo. Why network observability? Well, because modern deployments are complex, some having hundreds to thousands of loosely coupled microservices written in multiple languages and application frameworks and running across an ephemeral compute infrastructure. All of these make problems difficult to diagnose. And to add insult to injury, the deployment also changes day to day as services evolve. What you might get from network observability is a real time map of the application and its dependencies, including where each service is running, metrics on how services and their dependencies are performing, regardless of the programming language and or application framework that services are built with. By analyzing the data, you can get a list of important events. And because network telemetry is granular, it is possible to drill down to an individual pod or host level. One of the challenges building a collector was that it was insufficient to just collect information from sockets. One of the major advantages of network monitoring with eBPF is that you are able to see not only IP addresses, but also the context of the communication, the process, container, and host associated with the traffic. To make the telemetry really valuable, more metadata is required. Information about the host from the cloud provider, information about containers from Docker and the orchestrator, and information about network address translation and a mapping of external addresses to names that users understand. The Flomo collector includes all of this instrumentation. The great news is that much of this instrumentation is reusable for other types of eBPF observability. For example, if you wanted to monitor context switches, do some collect some profiling information, monitoring files instead of sockets, or monitor system calls, the, this uh, metadata is still useful. Another challenge we faced was how to reduce overhead. We measured live systems and for every container update, there were thousands of process and socket updates and hundreds of thousands of socket activity reports. As you can imagine, if you encode container information on every socket report, you could be spending a lot of time uh, fetching and coding and decoding container metadata. The Flomo collector only sends updates for container process and socket metadata. Those updates are cached eliminating much of the redundant work. This is one of several design decisions that enabled the collector to achieve low CPU and network overheads so users can get always on granular reporting in production. These were not the only challenges we encountered, but for lack of time, let's switch to a demo. In this demo, we will run the open telemetry collector with the Floma collector. Let's first run the open telemetry collector, which will output metrics to the screen. Now run the Flomo eBPF collector, which will connect to OpenTelemetry to send the telemetry. And now let's look at some of the logs that are output. Here's the kernel version that the host is running. Information from instance metadata, like the instance type and instance ID, and information on the VPC ID and private and public IP addresses. Containers being created on the system. Metadata from Docker, here is the image ID from Docker and the name that Docker assigned the open telemetry collector. Processes, here is bash. And sockets, this is socket 232 and the process ID that it belongs to. And here is the same socket and more metadata, source IP address and source port. It's port 22, it's part of the SSH stream that is used for this demo. And here is some um, telemetry flowing from that socket. You can see it sent five kilobytes of data in 11 packets. There is quite a bit of infrastructure required to build a robust high performance network observability collector. And the Flomo collector is now available as an open source project with a permissive license. So if you're looking for a network eBPF collector, please go ahead and try it out. We are working to contribute the collector to the OpenTelemetry project to be its eBPF collector, and I expect the integration with OpenTelemetry to become much more streamlined. If you're interested in this work, please join the eBPF workgroup in OpenTelemetry or reach out on Slack. Channel details are on the screen. Thanks for listening.